Hey there! In this video, I'll show you how to control your Android tablet or phone's charger using Home Assistant. This simple setup can help extend your device's battery life and even save you some money. If you have an iPhone or iPad, make sure to check out the similar video I made just for iOS users. Let's dive in. In this video, I'll show you how to control your charger based on your device's battery percentage. To do this you'll need your Android tablet or phone. The charger, and a smart device like a smart switch, smart plug, or similar to automate the process. I'll be using an Android tablet for this demonstration, which stays connected to the charger all the time, but I don't want it to be constantly charging. My goal is to turn off the charger when the battery reaches 80% and turn it back on when it drops to 10%. This way, I'll save money by turning off the charger when it's not needed and extend the tablet's battery life. I'll be using a Sonoff Mini as the smart device. I'll connect the charger to it and then plug the tablet into the charger. I'll also include links in the description to some smart devices you can use for this setup. Once everything is connected, we'll create an automation in Home Assistant and then set up another one on the tablet. In just about 10 minutes, you'll have everything up and running, it's pretty straightforward. To keep things simple, I'll name my smart device iPad Charger, since I'm using the same Sun Off device for the iPad. Let's start with Home Assistant. First, I'll go to Settings, then click on Automations and Scenes. I'll hit the Create Automation button in the bottom right and choose Create New Automation. Now, it's time to set the trigger for this automation. I'll click the Add Trigger button, search for Webhook in the search box, and select it. Home Assistant will generate a default Webhook ID, but I'm going to change it to make things easier to configure later. I'll set it to Battery Saver Off. Next, I'll define what this automation will do. I'll click the Add Action button, search for Switch Turn Off in the search box. Then, I'll choose the entity I want to turn off, in my case, it's the iPad charger. You should select the entity you set up for your device. I want to add an extra action, I'd like to receive a notification on my TV when the tablet is fully charged. This way, if you have a smart TV, you'll know when your tablet or phone is charged. If you want to learn more about smart TV notifications, I made a video on it, I'll link it in the description. To set up the notification, I'll click Add Action, search for Notification, and select my TV notification action. I want the message to come from the tablet. So I'll paste a variable in the message box that will pull information from the tablet automation. I'll leave a PDF in the description with these steps so you can easily copy and paste. After pasting the code, Home Assistant will switch from the Visual Editor to the YAML Editor because this part isn't supported in the Visual Editor. But don't worry, if you don't want to change anything, just paste the code and you're good to go. I'll hit save, give it a name, battery saver off, and save it. Now, let's create an automation to turn the charger back on. I'll go back to the list of automations, find the one I just created, click the three dots on the right, and choose duplicate. I'll expand the trigger configuration and change the webhook ID to battery saver on. Next, I'll modify the first action to turn on the same entity I used in the first automation. As for the notification, I'll leave it as is, since the message will come from the tablet. I'll click Save, name the automation Battery Saver On, and save it. And that's it for the automations in Home Assistant. Alright, let's move on to creating the automation on the tablet. The first step is to install an app called Automate. So, open the Google Play Store and search for Automate. It's the app currently visible on the screen. This app lets me automate repetitive tasks on my smartphone or tablet using simple flowcharts. I already have it installed on my tablet. Once you've finished installing it, go ahead and open the app. This takes you to the flow creation screen, which already has some default automations but I want to create a new one. To do that, I'll tap the plus button at the bottom right. This opens the automation flow screen with a start block already in place. 
I'll begin by tapping on the start block and giving the automation a title. I'll name it charger off and then hit save at the top right. Now, I need to add a block that will trigger the webhook I created in Home Assistant. I'll tap the plus button in the bottom right, and in the search blocks bar, I'll search for HTTP. From the results, I'll choose the HTTP request block. Back in the flow screen, I'll tap on the new block to fill in a few inputs, it's pretty simple. In the request URL field, I'll enter the URL that I set up in the Home Assistant webhook. I'll include a PDF in the description with this example URL so you can easily copy and paste it. You'll just need to update it with your Home Assistant address and modify the webhook ID if you gave it a different name. To make things simpler, I can open Home Assistant on my tablet, go to Settings, then Automations and Scenes, tap on the automation I created, expand the trigger, and tap the copy icon next to the webhook ID. I'll paste that value into the request URL field. For the request method, I'll select post from the dropdown. In the request content body input, I'll add the code that will send the notification message to Home Assistant. I'll also include this code in the PDF so you can copy and paste it. First, I'll enter the variable that I configured in Home Assistant, followed by the message I want to display. Once that's done, I'll tap Save. Back on the flow screen, I need to set up when the Home Assistant automation should trigger. In this case, I want it to happen when the battery reaches 80%, so I'll add another block. I'll tap the plus button, clear the search bar, and select Battery and Power. Then, I'll choose the Battery Level block. I'll drag the HTTP request block down and position the battery level block between the two existing blocks. I'll tap on the battery level block and set both the minimum and maximum levels to 80%. Now it's time to connect the blocks. I'll start by tapping go on the start block and dragging it to the in on the battery level block to create a connection. Then, I'll tap yes on the battery level block and drag it to the in on the HTTP request block. We need to keep the automation running in a loop so it continuously checks the battery level. If we leave it as it is, the automation would only run once and then stop. To fix this, we need to create two additional connections. First, we'll connect the no from the battery level block back to the OK of the same block. This way, the battery level will always be evaluated and when it reaches 80%, the flow will go through yes and trigger the next block. But we also need to keep the automation running after it triggers Home Assistant. To do this, I'll create another connection from the OK in the HTTP request block to the OK on the battery level block, ensuring the loop continues. Next, I'll tap the back arrow in the top left and give this automation a name by tapping on Untitled. I'll name it Charger Off and save it. I'll need to grant all the necessary permissions for the automation to work. Once that's done, I can start the automation by tapping the start button at the top. The automation will start, and I can check the progress in the log. It's a good idea to turn off logging so the file doesn't grow too large and take up too much storage on your tablet. I'll tap the log icon at the top, uncheck the logging option, and then tap it again to clear the existing logs. And that's it for the automation that turns off the charger when the battery reaches 80%. Now, let's create the automation that will turn the charger back on when the battery drops to 10%. To do this, I'll tap on the automation I just created, and then, I'll tap the menu in the top right corner, the three dots, and select Duplicate. Then, I'll tap the pencil icon at the bottom right to edit the duplicated automation, and I'll open the flow by tapping the flow icon. On the flow screen, I'll select the battery block and change the minimum and maximum values to 10%. Once that's set, I'll tap Save. Next, I'll edit the HTTP request block. The only changes I need to make here are in the request URL. I'll simply update the last part from off to on. I'll also update the message in the request content body to say, 
your tablet's battery has dropped to 10%. The charger will be turned on. After that, I'll tap save. To finish up, I'll rename the automation by tapping the title at the top. I'll name it charger on and then hit save. Once again, I need to start the automation by tapping the start button at the top. The automation will begin. If I tap the back button, I can see that both automations I created are now running. This means they'll continuously monitor the battery level, and when it reaches the defined thresholds, they'll trigger the home assistant automation. When the battery level reaches 80%, it will trigger the turn off automation in home assistant. And when it drops to 10%, it will trigger the turn on automation. And that's it. Now, you have a fully automated setup to manage your device's charging and extend its battery life. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel for more smart home tips and DIY guides. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.